Elsewhere around the world, shelling by Russian forces in and around the Ukrainian city killed the owner of the country's biggest agricultural company, a man President Zelensky called a hero. Meanwhile, the first shipment of grain left the port of Odessa on Monday under a deal brokered by the UN. Shin Yeun has the latest. Ukraine on Sunday saw what its president called the most brutal shelling of the entire war so far. Specifically in the Mykolaiv region, where most of the country's wheat, barley and corn is produced. Ukraine. Ukrainians, in the last 24 hours, Mykolaiv and the region has experienced the most brutal shelling of the entire period of the full-scale war. Dozens of missiles and rockets hit residential buildings, schools, social infrastructure and industrial facilities. In one of those strikes, the owner of the country's biggest agricultural company died. President Zelensky paid tribute to him and his wife. The Russian strike took the lives of Alesky Varatursky and his wife Reza, the founder of one of the largest agricultural companies in Ukraine, Nibelon, a hero of Ukraine. My sincere condolences to the family and friends of the couple. It is exactly such people, such companies, our Ukrainian South, that guaranteed the world's food security. This happened on the same day the Turkish presidential spokesperson hinted that Ukraine's grain export ships were ready to leave ports for the first time in months. A Ukrainian grain ship left the port of Odessa on Monday. Last week, Russia and Ukraine signed a UN-brokered agreement to ease the food crisis and reduce global grain prices. The agreement allows Ukrainian grain ships to safely pass in and out of ports in the Black Sea. While the food crisis may be about to ease, the humanitarian crisis remains an issue as the war prolongs. Adding to the already existing tensions, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Sunday signed a new naval doctrine to cast the U.S. as the country's main rival. In a new 55-page naval doctrine, Putin said Russia may use its military force to strengthen its own geopolitical position and safety in the Arctic and Black Seas. Shin Arirang News.